I want to show you the drought monitor real quick. It's kind of a little bit disheartening to see this because we've actually added a large category of Colorado uh, to the drought monitor. I want you to focus on the legend in the top right hand corner of your screen uh, looking at a category three here and that is that brown color that shows kind of severely dry conditions across the area. Uh, so we have uh, unfortunately added a very big area. I'm going to kind of show you that really quickly because this time last week it was only parts of the Raton Mesa that had uh, category three or a severe drought and we've actually grown with this drought all across parts of Lamar and back up through most of the northeastern part of the state uh, as well as some of the area down here towards southern Colorado is now in that category three uh, so as we uh, head into the next several weeks is something we're going to be watching very carefully especially as we could have the possibility of some high fire danger next week uh, so El Paso County has done a little bit better. We uh, started the year off uh, with the moderate drought and we have recovered quite a bit, but we just can't say that so much for parts of the Eastern Plains, unfortunately. The rain is a good thing, of course, as we're uh, looking at the satellite radar here showing you uh, a northwest to southeast uh, orientation with a lot of these showers moving across I-25. Uh, a lot of this, what is falling from the sky is very light, maybe at uh, five one hundredths of an inch is what you'll get at your house if one of these little brief showers moves over way. Freezing levels are pretty high and the the snow will stay confined for elevations above 10 to 11,000 feet and the high country. We may get a brief little snow shower for Woodland Park later tonight, but no accumulations really expected. And if any at all, would be very minor. I think most of the area starts to dry out before 10 o'clock tonight. Some of the forecast models are still hinting at midnight with a few showers and thunderstorms uh, showing up in northern El Paso County. No severe weather expected uh, for the duration of the day today. Most of these storms will be sub severe. You may hear a few embedded rumbles of thunder out there, but that's about it. Friday, we kind of rinse and repeat that forecast. Let me show you what I mean. The first half of the day is dry and uh, 50s and 60s, a little bit cooler. We'll get a little sunshine. So if you got any yard work to do, any outdoor activities, get them done early in the day as uh, we'll start to feel those winds increase and the clouds increase and a few stray showers and thunderstorms expected after about two o'clock yet again on Friday and through the evening hours. Now notice temperatures here into the 50s and 60s for most locations. We'll have the 30s into parts of the high country. Uh, if you're joining us here across parts of Taylor County, tomorrow is going to be no noticeably cooler with the low 40s expected and even across parts of Cripple Creek and just around 50 degrees for Colorado Springs. So as we kind of show you that view, a little bit of a zoomed in version yet again, uh, you'll notice most of the activity doesn't really get going until after two o'clock on Friday and uh, we won't pick up much in terms of those showers across the region. Uh, it will primarily just kind of come in and come out. Uh, let's show you the uh, seven day forecast Mom. really quickly here. Mom. Baby, I'm on, I'm on air. Just a minute, okay? Well, what can we use for, for our fort now? We're going to build a fort in a minute, okay? <laughs> Sorry about that. Temperatures in the 50s and 60s for the weekend. And Pueblo, you'll notice we're back up into the 70s uh, for Saturday and Sunday. But look at this. As we approach next week, we're going to be flirting with the 80 degree mark. So we are headed for a pretty hot and dry stretch ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, so it is something we will have to continue to watch. Just for the record, that's not really a whisper, guys. So, you know, <laughs> uh, Colorado Springs temperatures in the 50s for tomorrow. And uh, boy, working from home, you just never know what you're going to get with uh, little boys running around. So, uh, so far, so good uh, this week. But uh, get ready for another round of showers for tomorrow. Back to you guys. <laughs> You know, I'm gl I'm glad they spoke up there because I was I was worried where Carver was, and now I know that uh, everybody's fine at the Mary Matthews household. So good I want to build a fort. That sounds again. like fun. Hey, we're just yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, we're just about 35 minutes or so from the first sporting event, sort of, that we've had to talk about in a long time. The uh, NFL draft is going to air at six o'clock right here on KRDO. 